The Bracebridge community can expect another business in the area located at 295 Wellington Street called the Bracebridge Barrel House. Founder Darren Smith of the Lake of Bays Brewing Company says they're happy to be expanding. We've been in business for uh, uh, just over nine years now. Uh, we've always had our location out in Baysville where our main brewery is and with our retail store as well. And then uh, a couple of years ago, we had the idea that we, uh, uh, we thought we could uh, get into the brew pub business, uh, found a location up in Huntsville and obviously opened the uh, Huntsville Brew House early last year. Uh, and that's been a, a huge success thus far. We've been really, really pleased with the response from people. And, and it's, it's really added uh, a, a lot of capability for us as, a, as an organization. We can do a better job of developing products now that we have our, our little brew system up there. Uh, it's got a, a retail store on site, so another place for us to uh, sell beer for people to take home. Uh, and, and then there's the restaurant side as well, which is you know, where we can have a lot of fun with beer and food pairings. Uh, and also it's an opportunity for us to uh, make beer there and let people try it out directly before we decide what's going to move down to Baysville and, and go into full-scale production. So that's been a whole lot of fun. We thought, well, if we've done it once, then why not try again? So, uh, <laughs> uh, so we looked around, we thought there was an opportunity to do a similar sort of thing in Bracebridge, and so here we, uh, here we find ourselves. Currently, Lake O'Bay's Brewing Company employ over 50 people and will be employing more once they are up and running. I would imagine we're going to be adding another 15 plus positions uh, uh, to operate this location here, so that'll bring us up well over 60, uh, which is great. I mean, uh, we're, we're happy to happy to be an, an employer in the local area, and it's, uh, well, it's good to create, uh, create jobs in, uh, in manufacturing and restaurants and, and all that. A fair amount of work will have to be done before it is ready, and Darren hopes that when it's completed, it will be a fun and relaxing place to come and get together with friends and family. Uh, our, our plan for here is kind of a two-level layout. We've got about 3,200 square feet on the main floor, uh, and that's going to comprise a, a brewing area, uh, including a, a, some significant uh, a barrel aging capacity here, which is going to be really exciting. Uh, we'll have obviously a kitchen and bar, uh, some restaurant seating on the ground floor, and then a mezzanine level as well, where we'll have some more uh, seating, and that'll also allow us to do a really good job of accommodating uh, a group business and functions. Uh, so the, the rough timeline here is going to be uh, that we, we hope to start demolition within the course of the next few weeks. We'll be getting into construction directly after that uh, and then just kind of going at it until we're open, which uh, obviously we're hoping for, for kind of a, you know, spring, March, April, perhaps opening in, in, in next year. If you'd like to find out more, you can visit their website at lakeobaysbrewing.ca. In Bracebridge, I'm Samantha Johnson for Kojiko News.